was close. I can't believe it. Uh, man, I haven't even been pulled over in forever, but talk about the timing. I'm actually uh, on my way back to the shop to finish up a product review of a dash cam, and I had completely different intentions for using or justifying why this is a good product review for how to wrench, because a lot of motorcycles and power sports users uh, will benefit from a dash cam and I, I had a completely different approach as I was going to show that I got in a wreck and I didn't have proof of you know uh, the rear view of my vehicle and a big old hot mess and then on the way to the shop with the final footage of the dash cam and going to show its features and stuff I get pulled over and the funny thing about it was is that uh, when the officer asked me you know do you know how fast you were going blah 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 I said yeah I, I could tell from my dash cam here uh, and, and what I was doing, I go, I'm pretty sure that car, that little, that little white car just went by. I think they were kind of gunning it. And the officer's like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's, I just want to slow everybody down. And goes in the whole pitch or whatnot. And um, super nice guy or whatnot. But I think that the dash cam might have had a little bit of say in that. And I don't know. I don't know. But it's awesome. No ticket. If you're debating on having a dash cam or what its benefits may be, man, here's two reasons right now that were awesome. All right, my friends, I'm actually going to move forward with uh, the product review uh, on this dash cam by Von Top, and you can see uh, the benefits and features. It is a front and rear view camera, which in this case, the rear view is what I think saved the day. But uh, things way cool. It has a whole bunch of other features. So I'm going to show you real quickly how fast it installs and then go over. Uh, um, what all you can do with this and the footage that it can collect so it's pretty stinking cool So if this interests you or you're looking for a dash cam or you're looking for a review on this particular product by Vantop Stay tuned Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button that notification bell? You're gonna be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up All right quickly uh, included obviously the camera and cables as you'll see in the video does come with a uh, manual, very well wrote, I will say, very easy to follow. I didn't need any instructions, and that, and what I'm, what I'm really referencing is how to use it, not how to hook up one power cable. I mean, super easy installation, but this was really good at how to actually navigate. Now I'm going to show you that in the video too. All the features, uh, this things are going to blow your mind. Uh, they included a cleaning cloth, some uh, mount self adhesive mounting uh, plates and screws for the rear view camera. I went a little different mount as you'll see uh, on my installation, but uh, also a contact card for multiple countries. Like that, that's supplied as well. And then a uh, upholstery installation tool to hide your cables if you decide to do that, like we did. What's not included is for the outside of the truck rear view camera, I put some uh, silicone around to seal it up. And then I decided to fuse the backup camera uh, option on this. It's pretty cool. It even has a, a trigger wire you can light up when you back up so it gives you the, uh, the parking bars. So let's go ahead and uh, start to install this dash cam from uh, Venta. I got to tell you, like, this is, God, I almost think that's aluminum. If it's, eh, it might be plastic. Whatever it is, is high quality. Look at the camera is actually adjustable. It's pretty cool. The straps. Man, the, the fit and finish of this thing just feels awesome. So inside of here, there's just some different bands. Let me show you an up close adjustability on this. Once you get your rubber bands wrapped around your existing mirror, the forward facing camera actually is adjustable in and out. So with different size mirrors, you can really get it set up where it just really masks the existing one. You don't even realize it's there. And uh, another thing to show you while I'm in here is here is the SD slot where you'll uh, put your SD card and then a rear view camera and power cable that I'm gonna show you how to install next. I'll do detailed installation instructions at the end of this video, but just uh, for some high level uh, installation tips, the camera does have a reversing assistant feature and you'll see this red wire off the backup camera that has to be run to a power source. So like I said, for those just waiting to watch the review of this product, stay tuned. Next we'll go over uh, features, use, and some samples of uh, the camera, both front and rear going down the road, uh, wrapping up the video with full installation at the end. Okay. Let's take a look at the, uh, the features of this touchscreen uh, dash cam by uh, Vantop. This thing's really awesome. I mean, you can just touch it here and you get some different choices here. 
you could see and it times out it tells the quality we can tell if the speakers on or off I could go ahead and shut that off I get that little uh, line across there I can see it's charging uh, I could see if I'm in a loop mode date time this is even license plates adjustable you'll see I can instantly take photos if I tap that um, I can lock it or unlock it you know right from this first screen but if I get in here and I get into the settings now we get a whole bunch of individual settings we can go through. This thing is really super cool. If I scroll down here, I even get some more uh, settings, formatting the SD card version, a factory reset. Let's go through these real quickly and see kind of the, the more common ones that we would mess with. One thing you notice right now is I ha every time I'm tapping it, I can hear the sound. If you don't like that, that's something you could turn off just that easy. So I'll, uh, I like it on, so I'm gonna leave it on. But if I go to the resolution, you can see here the options. I just keep tapping that through. Here's loop recording. I've got some options, one, three, five minutes. Just touch it to get out of it. We're on five minute loops. Um, I did notice that after a day of driving, the, the, the quality I have on there and everything, it, it started recording over it the next day. So if you have something you want, Make sure and download it, I'd say, right away that day. Um, time lapse, we played with this. Uh, it was pretty fun, too. So it's cool. It has that feature already for you. Cool on a road trip, you get some cool scenery. I can play with the audio. This driving mode is the one I want to focus on here, too. And what that is, is you have uh, that G sensor. So if it feels an impact, it automatically starts recording and saves that file on those locked files. Now, what's great about that is it's not gonna loop over itself and it's pretty important. So we had it in the middle and what we noticed, we're in a pretty you know, older area town, there's a lot of potholes and so on. So it kept going off and as you could see from this photo where I took a live screenshot, you get that yellow bar that goes across there. Uh, that was happening quite a bit just due to the area I'm in. So we got a hold of them. They said, well, try low. It still works really well in low. And we found out that it did. When you hit like a really bad pothole, which we have, it, it was still recording, which gave me the confidence that that G sensor would sense that impact and then make that recording. So we've left it in low. And now just the normal driving around town, it hardly ever uh, has that bar come across. Okay, uh, parking mode, same thing. This is, this one here you could leave. I'm gonna set that to middle. So that's if someone tries to break in and it's gonna set it off and start recording front and rear. I mean, boy, that would be handy. Uh, might even catch a license plate of the car in the parking lot. Uh, I told you you could program in uh, your license plate. So if you notice here, it says on. If I tap it in the middle, I could turn on or off. If I touch to the outside, that's where I'll get that screen. I would say all the rest of these features are easily covered in the, the manual and they're pretty self-explanatory. The only one that I'd uh, really focus on here is on the streaming media. One thing about the streaming media is, and this is the way I like it, is by default, I always want the rear view camera, the one to be showing, and I don't have to choose or flip through. So if you leave it on, it'll always just turn on to the rear view camera every time you plug it in or start your vehicle. Next, I'm going to show you how you can actually view the files right on the camera and not have to download them or remove the card to view them on a computer, and then how to pick which camera. If I go to the right, it allows me to view the files, and then I could pick which camera, whether it's the uh, standard front or the the locked ones are the emergency. So like if uh, it felt a bump or a shock or you got hit and it just started making the recording on its own, that's what's in those files. And then the standards are just the regular ones. And then if you happen to take photos front or rear, uh, they're found there. Let's take a photo quick and access it. Uh, take a photo right there. So I just took two photos. We can go back to here. Standard front camera video. There's the photos I just took. So I'm going to pick that photo. Delete. Boom. I can just control that right from the file menu right there. As far as like on the road, if I go to the left then, you notice I can see both cameras simultaneously. Um, I don't like to drive with that. Looking at it real quick is kind of cool. But if I keep going, you can see here I'm on a front camera. 
So I'm looking in the garage through a dirty windshield. And if I go here, I'm on the back camera. But another really cool feature that I like about this, uh, as far as in viewing it, not in the recorded file. The recorded file you'll see has a uh, just a stationary uh, input. But check this out. You could just touch the screen, and I can rotate this down. Look, I can see if my tailgate was up. It does the same thing uh, or down. It does the same thing on the front cam as well. But the one thing I noticed is that the camera view is this and then a lot bigger. It's it's like it's everything. It catches everything on the camera view for the recorded file. So that's pretty awesome. When I'm uh, driving, especially on this rear one, I happen to just like to have the top of the tailgate showing there. Because then I know it's up. I have stuff back there a lot. I thought that was pretty cool. Here's a, a clip of the front camera. I want to make sure I got enough footage in here in case you're making uh, purchasing decisions so you could see how great the quality was. This is unedited, just downloaded right from the camera. Um, it's crystal clear and one of their advertisements is that that wider view of uh, um, angle that it records at is also viewable on the screen. So uh, it, it's pretty cool. I drove around with it quite a bit with just the front camera until I got the rear hooked up and so capture a lot of footage, real consistent and always, uh, always worked well. So, And mind you, this is with the dirty windshield as well, so uh, I'm pretty surprised that's even this clear. Earlier I showed the dirt bikes uh, running around back there that's really important to us because we do that a lot and I was just amazed how great I could see through the bikes with where I mounted it. So here's some uh, footage just driving down the road. One of the things you'll notice using this dash cam with the rear camera is that it's such a wide angle. It's it's awesome. You have a lot less blind spots and just look at this angle of all the cars around you all the way to the left or the right. Just a wide range of uh, view. It's awesome. Here's some actual uh, night footage of the front and rear cams and uh, you can see the, the quality of the recordings here even at night. Well, my friends, that's my review of the Vantop uh, dash cam uh, with the dual cameras on there. You can kind of look at my final uh, installation. I think this is pretty super slick here, but I'm uh, I'm really happy with that. I, I like the placement, like I said, of where I went with mine um, as far as what I need it to do. But if you needed to mount it somewhere else, uh, you got some options. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, make sure and subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. If you decide you want one of these cameras for yourself, as always, we put the links below in the description. Uh, please use that link because it helps us as well. Uh, we're going to get back at it, uh, reviewing some more products, doing some more how-to videos. So as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.